So the Chanel Gabrielle bag has been around for a few years now. You might be wondering if the style is so relevant, is it worth it to get it, how's the wear and tear, how do you style it? What size should you get? Welcome back my lovelies. If this is the first time you're watching this channel, hi, my name is Amy. So I often get questions. Hey Amy, is this bag still worth it? How's the wear and tear now that you've had this bag for two years? Hey Amy, should I get this bag or should I get the cocoa handle or the rectangle mini? These are all questions that I get often over and over. First of all, my Chanel Gabriel bag is in the small size and I've had the black one for over two years now and then this one I've had for just about a year. So just to give you a visual, you can see that my black one is a bit more worn and that the leather has pretty much settled a little bit more. But I also want to note that because this one is a seasonal color, even the leather on this one feels a little thicker. If I run my hands over this calfskin area, it feels a bit tougher. It feels a bit thicker. I don't know if there's a padding inside or if the padding is just a little thicker. I don't know if it's a different batch of leather. I don't know for sure, but I definitely notice a difference because you can see even by me pressing it that it bounces back a lot easier. This particular color combo is a classic, meaning that it is permanent. So classic meaning the black on black, the beige on black, as well as the white on black. They're all classic colors and they are permanent as in that they do come back every single season. In terms of wear and tear, I can only comment on the small size Gabrielle bag because I don't own the new medium, I don't own the large. So it is really just for the small size. And the reason why I prefer the small size is because there's less of an area for the sagging to happen in the distressed calfskin. Because just think about it, it's physics and it's the weight issue. The bigger the bag, the more area of this particular material, which is distressed, which is soft and not structured, to sink in. That is part of the design, there's nothing wrong with that. But just keep that in mind if this is something that will bother you. It still has most of its structure, especially right here. The structure is still present. No sagging here. As you can see, the wear and tear is mostly just in the leather here, crimpling a little bit more. The base, still really, really pretty. I do caution that if you do nick it hard enough, then yes, it will show up. It's not foolproof. But in terms of regular wear and tear and also for one using their bag with care, I really don't think that you're going to have any issues with the bottom. Right here where my index finger is, it's almost like dust. And this is one issue with a completely black Gabrielle bag, is that dust does settle. So right along the edge here of the bag, just because of the way it's folded in, and right along the edge here, you're going to see dust collect around there. And it doesn't bother me, you can still kind of get it out, most of it. Keep in mind that because mine is completely black, so obviously any dust, which is a white color, usually shows up. Long story short is that the wear and tear on this bag has been absolutely fantastic. No regrets buying this bag at all, and I still really, really love it, because ultimately that's the main question I get a lot. Is it worth it to get it? Should I get it? Do you still love your bag? And it's yes, yes, yes. Of course it's all relative, because everyone's style is different, everyone's preference is different and also that a lot of you still prefer to put your money in classic flops because they truly retain their investment value a lot more or better and i don't disagree but in my opinion in terms of style if you want diversity if you're a fashionista and you want something different if you want something super practical because it's easy to get in and out of then this bag is for you so in terms of storage very very quickly i really don't do anything special i just basically put all the chains on top. An additional step that I would recommend is to always put a felt material on the bottom so that it doesn't rub against the shelf directly. Over time, if you slide it around enough, I'm sure it will become scuffed. Uh, it's not that easy to scuff it, just to be clear. But just on the safer side, do put a piece of felt underneath or the dust bag underneath. Let's talk about whether this style is still relevant. I think so. And it also has a lot to do with your own personal style. Like I said, this bag for me is more towards the edgier, almost like understated side because unless your zipper pull is right in front, a lot of time it just kind of settles on top of your bag and no one really sees it. So unless they know that this bag is a Chanel bag or unless they know the chains, unless they know the shape is a Chanel Gabrielle bag, 
a lot of people won't know. And so this is a very nice understated bag option. Of course, the classic flap has been proven and it's been around for decades. So we're not going to compare to that. But in terms of style nowadays, whether it's relevant now, yes, I think it is. This is a very versatile bag in terms of styling. You can definitely wear just t-shirt and ripped jeans, sweatshirt and leggings. A classic blazer look, really relevant with this style. And finally, I would say that even with a dress, it can still work. It depends on the style of the dress, I'll admit. If it's very, very girly, unless your bag was a pink color, so unless your Gabrielle Belle is in like a more of a pastel-y color or something a little lighter, not as, you know, obviously black and you know statement like this one has a lot to do with size as well what i mean is if you choose the classic flap and you went with the jumbo it's gonna work for a lot of situations and outfits but it may not work for weddings for example same with this one um i particularly like the small size because i find it to be the most versatile and also it suits my body frame always choose a bag that suits your body frame as well honestly if you were to ask me which size i recommend the most I personally really like the small, but if you do need a size up, I think the new medium is excellent. I think the new medium is the perfect size, which is the reason why I think Chanel created it. Now, I'm not going to talk about how much this bag costs and whether that's worth it monetary-wise, but is it worth it for the style and is it worth it to add to your collection? Absolutely, especially if you don't already have one. I don't really think that you need more than one or two, to be honest, because this bag as cool and as fun as it is, it's still not as solid as a classic in terms of investment. And if that's something that you care about, then I definitely suggest you getting just maybe one or two. Because it is fun and it is really practical to use this bag. Let, let me be clear, this bag is one of my favorite because it fits more. Let's talk about the comparison with, with the more popular bags after. Of course, the price will keep going up. It is part of their permanent style. Chanel always, always increases prices of their bags, especially in their permanent style section. They always go up in price. So if you're after one, do get it soon. But there's also the secondhand market and I'm going to be linking a few of those down below. Oftentimes, it is easier to find in the secondhand market, the larger size at a much reduced price. Not so sure about the new medium yet, but for sure the small size, it actually keeps its value a little bit better. Hit that like button, especially if you're getting value so far. Also, I want to remind you that I do have two other videos that are related to this bag. I also show what fits in my bag and everything in between modeling shots in those videos, so do check them out. So I often get asked, Amy, which one do you recommend? The Chanel Gabrielle or the Chanel Mini in the rectangular flap? Look at how much taller the Gabrielle is. And because this leather, so this whole part of the bag on top is flexible, it really accommodates a lot more, trust me. I always, always show you guys that I always end up putting my glasses on top, even though my SLGs are standing up inside. Which one should you get? That's so personal. If you don't already own a mini, I definitely, definitely recommend a mini because minis are like classics. They are seasonal, but they are classics as in that the shape is classic, they're very versatile. It goes with everything, literally everything. The only con I would say, or maybe the only sort of shortcoming of the mini is that it doesn't double up. So the straps don't double up. You have to wear it crossbody, unless you find some way to tie the straps from the inside, but let's not go there. We're just gonna compare it the way it is. So that's the only shortcoming of the mini. But in terms of everything else, especially style, especially money-wise, if you're after your first Chanel bag, I always recommend the mini. Always. It's very hard to get it in the caviar now. It's impossible to get it at the retail store because they're discontinued. They're still available on the secondhand market, of course, but um, I definitely still recommend this more if you don't already have one. Now, you might not be into the mini for whatever reason, or maybe because you don't find that it fits enough, then the Gabrielle, yeah, I say go for it because, like I said, I'm a big fan of it. But if I were to choose between the two and it's my very first Chanel bag or if I don't already have either of these in my collection, I would go after a mini first. Now the debate between the Coco Handle and the Gabrielle is a little trickier. They're both amazingly beautiful. Very different vibes though. And they fit 
about the same only thing is that i find that it's easier to organize your things in the gabrielle because it's just one big compartment you open up the bag it's one big hole of course you have the slip pockets on the side but that's still one big compartment you don't have to use the slip pockets on the side so in terms of getting in and out of it and also organizing things it's so much easier with the gabrielle but the coco handle does fit about the same because the coco handle is about the same size as this bag if you look at it in terms of the height in terms of the width they're very very similar this one does taper up getting in and out of this bag it's a little harder as you can probably already tell this whole handle thing kind of like swings around um, it doesn't hit you like it doesn't hurt or anything but it does get in the way so you have to get in the habit of pulling it further away from you but in terms of the space inside it's it's just as spacious this one does have two compartments which I almost wish that they only just made it one compartment because this compartment in the back um, is very much slimmer than the front one and that's where my phone sits if i compare this and the mini rectangle i feel like they're similar in vibe because they're both can be super versatile in terms of what you wear and how you can wear the bag together the coco handle is so much more ladylike it's so much more elegant in a way that it doesn't always work out for all outfits i'm sure you can just picture it think about sweatshirt and leggings it doesn't really go with the vibe i mean you wear whatever you like it's completely fine i do it but it just doesn't quite go with it price wise this one is a little bit more expensive now because it's a permanent style this one is still a seasonal bag so the price has not increased as far as i know but i personally would not choose a bag based on the price alone i really feel like you should look at your collection see what's missing missing in terms of like styles that you need because you may not necessarily need a girly bag in your collection if you're not gonna dress girly ever why would you need a girly bag again if it were up to me because of course i will get asked that i will go with the gabrielle first only because that's what i did i went with the gabrielle first and then i bought the coco handle much later i get more cost per wear with this one whereas with the coco handle a lot less cost per wear but they're so pretty I can't deny the style either and I have three of them so that speaks volume let's talk about color and combination which one you should go for go with black on black go with white and go with beige if you want or go with a seasonal color up to you but the reason why I recommend black on black is because this is a shoulder bag essentially you're wearing it close to you it will swing around you know back and forth you can also wear it crossbody sort of you know in a v way or even like the super long way but essentially it is a shoulder bag and shoulder bags are meant to be worn on one side they do swing around you walk there's movement so wear and tear in terms of color transfer can happen very easily on this bag but if you're into the beige or if you're into the white or if you're into a lighter color that is uh, seasonal and you always always just wear light color clothing anyway then go with that because like i said it's all relative to your style but it's just in terms of practicality i think for a lot of us um you know <laughs> where depending on where you live depending on your lifestyle depending on what you wear in terms of color palette black on black is the safest you might also notice that for the gabrielle bag there's a different style now it's not really a different style but they do offer one with the extra handle strap it's detachable it says chanel on it very pretty but i feel like it's almost too busy and i don't know for sure how much more i'm gonna end up using that particular strap because that strap is good for the crook of the arm also good for a shoulder carry like a higher shoulder bag but then all your straps are just going to be hanging around so maybe one thing i would change about this bag and it's very minor i don't really feel like they need to include this part normally if it's a larger bag i think this is useful but because this bag is so small I still consider this to be a mini bag to be honest because this bag is so small i really don't think that this clip is really necessary in fact it kind of gets in the way maybe if they made it detachable because i don't want to lose a feature that they want to include maybe if they made this whole thing detachable from the inside then it would be great because then i could also use this as a 
key holder inside larger bags as well I, I love the fact that you can really open it super wide so even though it is a zippered bag which normally I'm not a fan of zippered bags I'm a big 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 stickler in terms of fussy zippers opening I really don't like them but with the Chanel Gabrielle I have no issues with it at all this even though it is the smallest size of the Chanel Gabrielle I have no issues what, whatsoever with the zipper opening aside from that i would say that my favorite feature of this bag is definitely i mean it's the whole bag but it's definitely the chains how beautiful they look when you wear it and even if you don't see the cc logo from uh, the zipper pull because like i said it doesn't always show up when you're wearing it it does swing it does kind of move around it goes on top like that it's the whole look it's the whole vibe um and honestly even though there is a million ways to wear this bag the most often i actually wear it is just simply like that it does have this leather piece as well as this other two straps when you wear it doubled like that and it's so so comfortable there's something about this combination and the fact that there's intertwined leather these chains are not the biggest chains but when you combine all of it together with this strap and then you see this strap on top of your shoulder it really is an exquisite look and it also feels very comfortable you might be wondering whether I would add another Gabrielle in my life I would say no for now certain seasonal colors and combinations are very stunning so unless there's one that's so irresistible that I cannot stop thinking about then yeah, sure, I might get it. Has this changed your mind about the Gabrielle bag? Which size do you own or which size are you after? Don't forget to hit the like button down below and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you back. Turn on that notification to all, especially because YouTube does not notify of all the videos unless you do so. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye guys.